Oh, wait. Hello, guys. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. Hello, guys. Welcome to our first uh, live at concepting session. And today we have under pockets, which is pockets down under. So just to be totally clear, Travis and I have never seen this until literally we start clicked live stream like 10 seconds ago. This is our first time being I, close to this. I will say, I think that under pockets may have reached out to us last week. Oh, well, I I'm know not 100% about sure. this. I don't I either. Spent zero Clueless. time concepting. Okay, more yes, important, same. nobody here owns a pair of under pockets. No, we do not. Good. So they are okay, stylish. I just verified. It was a different company. It was not under pockets. Okay. Okay, perfect. So it's underwear, which has pockets. Now, it's $30 for a two-pack. And yeah, guys, let's let's start. First impressions of the product. Two. All right, all right. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let me read some of the features of the... There are no features. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this a product page? Yes. No copy? Come There's on, nothing. guys. Well, guys, it's uh, 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 pockets on your underwear. That's that's the feature. That's the thing. It's pockets in your underwear. Okay, All okay, right. okay. First right. off, right. devil's advocate, that's where you start. Devil's in the devil's advocate. Okay. <clears throat> There's a lot of workout shorts out there that have pockets. I own a couple, and I didn't buy them for the pockets. The pockets was more of a perk. It was a discovery. It was exciting. I put them on one day, I had my phone in my pocket and all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I could just put this in the spandex hole and be about my day. But I will say, I've never heard of underwear with pockets. Never have. Yeah, it's an innovation. So Trav, you have just tried on a pair of under pockets. You slipped mm -hmm. them on, you slide, your phone or whatever into your underwear pocket. Mm -hmm. What is going through your mind in that moment? Um, what's going through my mind is I never have to worry about my phone falling out of my pocket again. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. And by the way, and if I'm a woman, the first thing I'm thinking is I don't have to take a purse and I don't have to necessarily wear pants and pockets because Pants with no pockets is probably by far the most difficult thing women have dealt with in their whole life. This is men's. This is men's. This is only men's, only for men. I mean, I think the okay. pro, uh, product pictures show well that it's for men. It's only. Yeah, and it said okay. below that women's is coming. So, okay, first thing I think, first thing I think of is men, men most men, right, don't care. They're going to throw the phone in their pocket. If it breaks, it falls out, whatever. Don't care, right? So I think this is a very specific subset of man, I think. Well, well, what I will say is if you talk about use case, the times that you would be wearing underwear without pants is at home. And that is the time that you walk around with your phone in your hand. And so this is an at-home wear, um, I think, to anchor the conversation around like the use case that is where you would use it. Um, a pair of underwear so handy you won't need anything else. That's good copy. Where my mind goes, Trav, is- oh, Wait, 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 I found features. Sorry, guys. Okay, oh, thank goodness. Go. Thank goodness, here we go. Most sizes, even larger phones, high quality, stylish phone size pockets, pouch construction with side fly, smooth, unnoticeable tag, all day comfort, friction-free seams. Okay, okay. It's, it's a featureless, Better mousetrap. So, okay. Okay, you can share, Steph, but you know what this reminds me of, Stefan? CreditRepair.com. CreditRepair.com. There is not that much to understand about. This, this is a per, like the benefit for all you guys watching right now is that this is a case study in how to sell something that's not complicated. And yeah, when you have something- The one that comes to your mind is something not complicated. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Okay. Because with creditrepair.com, there just really wasn't that much to say other than we're going to help you fix your credit. And do you, if you remember, we thought, okay, 
what we really need to do is we just need to get them to stay as long as possible because credit's boring. It's boring, right? I got to be honest, pockets and underwear, it's pretty boring. It's a very boring thing. So you need to get them to stick around as long as you can. So you have to have some kind of creative trope. Um, and that's what we did with credit repair. Do you remember? Is like, hey, let's just keep them around as long as we can. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's my first thing I'm going to say is there's got to be something way more interesting than pockets in your underwear because so this is where my mind goes my mind goes is a pocket in your underwear is like a secret it's like a it's like a it's like a secret power and so where everybody else is walking around with pocketless underwear like a bunch of idiots we're over here we've got pockets in our underwear it's like a superpower that nobody knows about it's like the ability to read Mm. minds maybe or it's like you're bulimic yeah yeah <laughs> it's zoolander it's hansel it's hansel. that guy so hot right now what would you uh, do okay you did- okay so it's your little secret it's your little secret okay and that's funny right because that seems like a very female oriented thing right like it seems like more of a female joke of like it's your little secret girl nobody knows but that's what make, could make it really funny for men is to take that like feminine side of the joke. Yeah. What if it's like men don't have secrets? We don't have diaries. What we do have is pockets in our underwear. Secret. Oh, what you, what not to be confused with. Not to be confused with secret tunnels. Secret tunnels. What if you played it that way? What if you said women for the longest time have had to live without pockets? Men have always mm-hmm. had them. But now women mm-hmm. are starting to get pockets on their pants and catch up with us. So what did we do? We went ahead and put pockets in our underwear. You know, yeah. really, let's let's just play up the patriarchy. Just like I like that. That's going in the script. That's going in. Yeah. If women if women can have pockets in their pants now too, then how are men going to feel different in a world of where, where we're you know for the last seventy years, women have talked about how hard it is to be a woman, but have they ever talked about how all men ever get is is baggy pockets pockets. we don't get to wear tight pants whenever we want we have to wear baggy pants with baggy exposed pockets and do we have pockets where women don't yes i like it steph i like this message that they have in here they they talk about working from home in your underwear that's an angle there's a concept there in girls versus boys okay it's pandemic pandemic underwear that's their that's yeah, a pandemic reset. I don't want to touch. Pandemic is, that's so overdone. Every brand in the history of the 2020 has done a pandemic ad. It's not funny anymore. But, but work from home. Work from home. work from home. That is a new normal. Work from home underwear, I think, is a more powerful idea. And, and you know why I like that too? You're introducing a lifestyle choice more than a product. Yeah. Do you ever wish you could just, you work home, you work at home all day, right? No pants required. No yeah. pants required. And we wanted to liberate you. We wanted to liberate you so that you could carry your phone in your underwear wherever you go. Yeah, what if and that's what this like, is all about? What it's like a idea, mission. It's an emotional. Yeah, what if what if the idea is like I have spent my entire life going to work in pants. And now for the first time ever, I've been liberated. I can work at home in my underwear, but it's not enough to have underwear. You need to have pockets. What if we have, what if we stage the Tom Cruise risky business slide in dance? Ooh. What if we go there? What if, what if we've got dads, a bunch of dads working from home and they're sliding around and they're doing all kinds of housework in their underwear, but it's only feasible because they got pockets in their pants. I think that's the concept. I think it's, uh, hey, I'm Jim and I work at home a lot. Do I wear pants? Most of the time, no. And I have yeah. a real problem. I can't take my phone around with me in my underwear. Do I wear a button up shirt? Yes. Do I wear pants? No. Oh, what if we talk about it like an evolutionary sense where it's like humans only have two hands and no pockets. So evolutionarily, we're at a disadvantage. Because one of those things, and we've got phones now, and then you introduce phones. It's like, what am I going to do with my phone if I only got two hands and no pockets and I'm in my underwear? Well, now 
you can have two hands. If there was only two ways, we could either invent people with three hands to carry around their phones in their underwear, or we could go the other route where we invent, po you know, pockets in our pants. Is that a concept? No. Ah, for the longest time, there was a problem. There was a problem that no one, no one was looking to solve, but it was still a problem. And it was ha not having enough hands while wearing underwear. We tried surgically attaching a third arm, but it wouldn't take to the body. It just wouldn't take. There's a guy in the, his bathroom, like trying to cook eggs. And he's holding his phone and his arm just like falls off. Dang. He picks it up and he's just like, oh, darn it. God, this thing just won't stay on. Yeah, well, and that's when it, we like realized. The next, step, the next step in human evolution. It's like, we've made it this far. Now what we're missing is pockets in our underwear. Yeah, we, we came so far. We went to the moon. We went to the depths of the Mariana Trench. And yet, we were still walking around with no pockets in our underwear, like, like cat, cavemen. So this product is two for $30, right? So that really is like $7.50 50 cents per pocket. <laughs> you know, these, you may say these underwear are a little bit spendy. But you know what? If you divide them by two legs, it's only $15 per pant leg. You know what I call that? A steal. Yeah. Let's talk it's about the, the value. Numbers. The value of he, having extra pockets. He looks over. He's like, he works from home. He's like, just ask my accounting department. It, it like cuts over to some other guy who has a button up white button up shirt with underwear on. He's like, the math checks out. Half the price. Check you you're gonna, per you're gonna need that extra pocket to carry your extra money you're saving. <laughs> yeah. The other thing too is in this video. With your cutting. Oh yeah, Trav, you're kind of breaking up. Make sure we sell multiple pairs. This company even allows people to buy one. It's probably okay. Just so you know, Trav, you were kind of breaking up there for a second. Well, you're going to break up with your pants after you buy these. Ooh, break up with your underwear. That's a concept. Break up, break up with your underwear. See, guys? It's just a bunch of dudes. It's just a bunch of dudes lighting underwear on fire. For everyone watching, this is how good creative happens is through mistakes and tangential thought. You have one thought about something. Someone says, oh, man, you're about to break up on this call. And then you think breakup what's an idea around breakup and breakup the guy the guy is in his closet he's holding his underwear and he's like you just don't you just don't you don't help me you don't hold with my you life don't, you don't hold my goods well enough you just don't you don't help me you you may you make me lose my resources too fast hmm. and there's uh, something holding your goods today holding your goods. underwear has held your goods for, for, for hundreds of years, underwear has successfully held your goods until the cell phone came along. Ooh, now, yeah. now your underwear isn't capable of holding all your goods. Yes. Oh, you, you know what else? If we go back to the man, man versus woman thing, you know what else is really not fair? It's the fact that women can put stuff in their bra. Yeah. That's not freaking fair. Oh, I'm just going to go play some tennis. <laughs> I'll just throw my phone in my sports bra. And you know what? We could even do a fake research study. Be like, we did research and we found out that men on average lose slash get their phone stolen 35% more than women. Why? Because they don't have a bra to put their phone in. This shows a guy at the beach and he's like wrapping his towel phone in a towel and burying it in the sand, which is what I did yesterday, by the way. And I could have not done that had I had pockets in my underwear. You know what I mean? Yep. That's a good one. We realized I, that equality was important and that men also needed the ability to put their phone in their underwear. But we're disadvantaged where we only have one pair of underwear instead of two. It's a one parcel situation. 
let's get some basics out of the way. This video is just gonna be demonstration after demonstration after demonstration. There is one feature in this product that is really worth showcasing. You should showcase the other ones. You should showcase the 95% cotton. You should showcase the seamless and the, the tagless you know, back or whatever. You should showcase all of that. But really it's, we need 15 or 20 different clips of different guys in different houses in different body styles, putting phones into their pockets. If you don't have that, your ad's not going to work. And I, I want to see the spokesperson do a lot of like lunges and cool, like, yeah, cool, like movement. quick cuts where he's like baking eggs. And all of a sudden he's just like lunch. And then he's yeah. like sitting there and he's like, boom, he just jumps up on the table. He's like, that's how free I am right now. I'm so yes. free. It's freedom. You're selling freedom. freedom. I think that that's, I think that that's so true. You need to show the flexibility, the freedom that the, that they provide you. I, I really I do like the dirty dancing. Like he's having a good time in his house, you know, the home alone, everybody, no one's there. He's just all by himself free balling it, but, but Especially, he's not, but yeah. he's not, it's not at the expense of having his phone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever you like to keep in your pockets. Maybe he keeps Cheetos in there. He just pulls Cheetos? out Cheetos. Some... Yeah. What, what, what would I have done with these Cheetos before I had pockets in my underwear? So that might be another good concept altogether. And I would shoot like a retargeting ad or maybe like an alt video of a guy just showing like 20 different things that he puts in his under pockets. Like mm -hmm. jicama sticks, uh, cheese balls money uh beef jerky uh slim jim cereal cereal and milk yeah cereal and milk cereal. i was gonna say like a drink of some kind of beverage he pours milk in and it like drips these like okay maybe not cereal but oatmeal but not cereal. Yes. and he like puts in a bagel or something yeah it's like an ad where you're like not 100 percent sure if it's real <laughs> you know i actually like that concept a lot because it anchors around the core feature the pocket um and then i feel like that's like your your first 15 seconds of your ad or 30 seconds and then the second 30 seconds is like the lunges the features around the house the like scrambling eggs lunge you know and like my pocket is still in there and just like showing how well it holds everything together you know what i will say too is like i don't really know that like short product demo ads would really get you quite there because with an under pocket, it's just like, it's just, it's underwear with a pocket sewn into it, right? It's not that special. It's not that unique. It's not that special. It's a slightly better mousetrap. And people really need to have like some entertainment value to buy. They need to like, it needs to be more than just underwear with pockets. And feature wise, there is nothing more. There is nothing more. You're not going to convince oh, yeah. someone to buy it based on utility. The campaigns that they need to go and watch. Are, are, are everything that Chubbies did. Mm -hmm. They need to just- Or MeUndies. Or MeUndies. You need to go and just look at like, those are the same thing. Like MeUndies is the same thing, except instead of pockets, their feature is that like they're funky. And so they need to go and look at the Facebook ad library and look at everything that MeUndies has done and everything that Chubbies has done, which is like, it's the same thing, but it's got a little bit of an iteration, but they've obviously successfully been able to grow those, those brands into- you know, hundred, probably now over, well, maybe not hundred, maybe 20, 30, $40 million companies. Well, Chubby's actually might be over hundred now, but, um, but anyways, like they're, it's all about brand. It's all about story, you know, yeah, like they need to be really engaging, really visually captivating. Um, 99.9% like .9 of entrepreneurs are not going to start this company because they're going to be, they're going to be thinking about what they want to start. Like, dude, what if we made underwear with pockets on them? And that's another concept too, by the way, that could be a whole concept. The it's founder. the founders. They're sitting there like, dude, let's start, let's start a company that can solve like a really critical problem with mankind. What are the greatest problems that man and mankind face? And the oh, guy's yeah. like, and they're like global oh. warming. And then they're global like, warming. they're like yeah. all these things. And they cross those out. They're like, nah, no, nah, no pockets in your underwear. That's the one. That's the thing. Yeah. You know what that feels like? It feels like a dude perfect type video. They should a bunch like of guys. 
just a good old boy sitting there on the table. Dude, oh, cancer? Nah, it's not a... Yeah, global warming? Nah, it's, you know... Yeah, they narrow it down. They narrow it down to, like, world yeah. hunger and men without pockets, and they're like, oh, which one... Let's do, let's do the, let's do the pockets one. And then they, and then they, or they flip a coin. They're like, well, let's just flip a coin and it lands on tails. And then you cut to a dude's butt and you're like pockets because it's tails, right? Or they flip the coin and the back side of the coin instead of the tail side of the coin actually just has a picture of under pockets. And they're like, oh, tails. And then they and the guy, and and then, one guy's like, call up Fabio. It's time to design. And then it goes into like a, a rock montage. It's like they're like designing. They're like they're like doing like you know thought webs on the wall. And like then they're like in the fabric store, like pulling fabrics. And Fabio just has this like beautiful hair. Maybe his name's like Fabrizio, or maybe his name's just like and it's Fabrice. like a guy that's not even handsome, but he's just wearing like a long blonde wig, silk silk shirt with like sail anchors on it. And then yeah. he's. It's like, dee, 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 dee. we found the perfect weave with the perfect pocket pocket for the perfect size for the perfect almost mm. perfect man whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then they're back in the boardroom and uh and then like, fabricio does like he's like doing a runway model presentation on the conference table and they're just like this is it this is it and then there's all these board members there it's like these these like rich guys from china and they're all like we're in one billion dollars here just hand them the check we'll Dude, and there has to be a scene where you're and showing the world the zoom. they change the world like wild stallions you know like the wild stallions and bill yeah. and ted there has and to be a scene where it's doing where news report like a zoom call and you have all of the screens of all the dudes like in a very professional meeting all the investors are sitting around <laughs> on the zoom yeah. call and then all of them the pants but none of them have pants. And then you show all of them wearing these instead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pants are, pants are obstructive and an enemy to nature. Pants. We're not yeah. made to wear and then, things. And then there's, there's another montage and it's like, it's like under pockets, like saving the world, like Bill and Ted Wild Stallions. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, China, the China and America signed the peace accords and Russia has gotten rid of its nukes all because of under pockets. And it show, we show Putin, we show Putin like no pants on signing a, signing a document, you know, be yeah. pretty cool. The best things in the world happen without pants on. And, and oh dude, no, you want to make the story go full circle? All of the problems they, they, they were talking about solving. So like global warming, geopolitics um mm. all these things they all get solved because of under pockets yeah and it's just like goes to all these news reports it's like under pockets has uh ended the the war in in uh in the congo the the insurrection's over and then uh and then it's like well it turns out men felt so free that they they went and they planted a trillion trees saving the polar ice caps yeah that's the winner that's your concept is that the winner might be there's definitely some gold in there there's so guys definitely some gold to overview we probably just developed what stefan five core concepts would you say yeah yeah you've got five core concepts <clears throat> you've got like saving the planet you've got um yeah you've got like the founder video You've got the guy the, in his house. Yeah, the guy in his house, the, the risky business kind of trope video. You've, You've got, got the, the founder, the founder video, Fabricio developing the product got, development uh, video. You've got the uh, the um, everything in your pockets video, like all yep. the different things that you can put into them. Mm -hmm. You've got And then uh, you've got the equality, you've got the equality video concept. Yeah that men so, to find their way in the world are going to need to add new pockets. To per we're, we're securing, under pockets is securing the future for all of humanity. We aren't, saying inner we aren't saying that under pockets will make you rich and beautiful and successful, but we are saying that. But we're not not saying it either.
You can wear under pockets anywhere, on your head, on your face, or on your buttocks. That's the best place. Whoosh. These are my recreation clothes. Whoosh. Ooh, yeah, recreation clothes. Um, I think that's it. I think we have developed concepts for under pockets. So here's what's really crazy, guys, about what we just did is companies pay us tens of thousands of dollars for the 30 minute conversation that Stefan and I had. And I just want you guys to know that I was a social media strategist and marketer for 10 years. I started when I was 14, 15, competing in marketing competitions, like really seriously. Had a father who was a senior director of sales and marketing at Monsanto um, and had tutelage through my mid 20s, social media director at 20th Century Fox. And even at that point, I still could not concept like this. And the first time I had to come up with a concept for Nordic track treadmills, um, I had an extremely difficult time. It was like mind numbing. It was painful. It was terrifying. And we came with the world's largest treadmill dance and it did extremely well. So I just want you guys to know that when you start developing this ability to concept, it's very difficult. It's actually like surprisingly difficult. But if you just keep pounding the hammer, no matter who you are, you will eventually get it. Yep. Very good. And I would say what we would usually do in this moment with the two minutes left, we won't do it here just for the sake of time. You have to go back and look at all your concepts and say, are we missing the most blatantly obvious thing? Because a lot of times you'll dance your way around all kinds of different terrain. You'll find yourself in all kinds of left field ideas and you'll miss the mark because you'll just have forgotten the number one, most easy, most practical solution, which is usually the right one. I think in this case, because it isn't a super complicated product, we probably didn't miss the mark too much. But that is one thing that I would encourage people that are starting the concept is do all, everything that we just did, go off into weird tangents. Obviously we would usually spend quite a few more hours doing this and really narrowing in. But in 30 minutes, if you're doing that, you still need to come back home and say, did we miss the most like obvious thing of like how to showcase the product? Um, and you'll be surprised at how often you do. And I will say too, without about 10 grand in ad spend behind different like images, this would almost be a complete waste of time because we need to know like what the golden message is. You know, we've got five or six concepts. One of them is going to crush it and two or three of them we're not going to work at all. They're not going to work at all. And so you don't know, like, what is it? Is it, what is the, is it a utility thing where people just really need this so that they can wear different types of pants is this for guys who wear tight? You know, there are guys, there's a 20% subset of guys out there that just wear tight pants. You know what I mean? Who is the niche within the niche? And what is it they really want? Or is it just super broad, like chubbies? And you just need to appeal with the brand and um, the feature and utility doesn't really matter. And so that's what you have to figure out. That's what you figure out. Um, with small creative before you really dive into like a big, huge, expensive video. Yep. Manscaped. That's another really the thing too is it's a mouse, yeah. better mouse trap, same product. There's a million different trimmers out there. They literally just went all in on brand. And I will say too, if you want to get good at concepting, you need to hit your wagon to somebody that's good at it. You either need to hire an agency or you need to hire a contractor. Don't try to do it yourself out of the gate. You really wanna like work with someone who's already got some success and it will rub off on you way quicker than you think. Way quicker than you think. On that Nordic track thing, I called up my buddy Cameron and he actually concepted with me and it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Also, it's so, always that's under pockets, guys. Don't concept solo. You're not going to come up with good stuff on your own. You've got to yep. have somebody to riff with. And you, even if, even if yep. their opinion doesn't really matter, even if you're the final kind of end all be all answer to the problem, you need to have somebody next to you to stick something against and just kind of say, Hey, what do you think of this? And let that blossom into better ideas. Cause if you're just doing it by yourself, you're going to come up with a lot of garbage. And by the way, Nate, if you Two like one of these concepts, write on the group 
so we can know which one Nate thought would be best for his brand. Is Nate is Nate the founder or is he the? Yeah, Nate is the founder. Awesome! Thank you, Nate. Way Thanks to go, for Nate. volunteering to do this with us. That's really cool. Nate, Nate, you may have changed the world, one pant, one underwear <laughs> leg at a time. Yeah. Thank you, Nate. I'm really excited. Please give us your feedback. You guys can roast us if you hate all of our ideas. Tell us, and then uh, yeah, and then let's see. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you again soon, probably for some more roasting of ads. Don't forget to send us your products. We will roast them. We had some incredible experiences a couple of hours ago. So let's keep doing it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Also, guys, in the comments, let us know if there's anything else you want us to do, like dance, you know. Sorry, but marketing wise, if there's anything else you want us to do marketing wise, let us know. All right. See Thanks, you. everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.